And on that whistle, we are underway. Always a great atmosphere in Portland. The scoreboard watching. Here's Shaw. Cutting it back. Nice ball. Shot taken and a goal. What an assist, though, by Shaw, who set it up for Caruso. One nothing, San Diego. Kira Caruso, who got the start today, times the run nicely, gets it from Jaden Shaw. And in transition, a nice build up there by San Diego to get the first goal. Now, they talked about wanting to be better in the first 20 minutes, especially after their last result. Well, how about scoring a goal and taking the lead in the first 20 minutes? Jaden Shaw slices it across the box. Caruso, you see, wide open there. Do you look here, just a heads up play there. Shaw sees her drifting across the top of the box, wide open. And for any keeper, there's not much you can do about that one with the ball coming through a sea of traffic. And Caruso places it nicely back post for the finish. Going in right. Crystal Dunn in the box. Takes the shot, foot save, Sharon rebound. High and wide. Off Shigita. That is, why, that is why San Diego is happy with them possessing in their own end because that's how quickly it switches. Getting forward, Morgan Weaver turns with the first touch, able to start to get across. Look at the movement by Portland here. Just ping, 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 passing around, finds Crystal Dunn out wide. Still players moving off of it. Now off of this save by Sheridan, Zagita continues the run and almost gets the rebound. Colaprico fires it off the crossbar. Bixby stretched as far as she could with her six-foot frame, but that was a woodwork that saved it. And there's a shot I've seen by Daniel Calaprico dating back to our youth soccer days playing against each other. Has the ability to get her head up in the open space. You just see that first touch, gets her hips around it, able to nearly drive that one as it dings off the crossbar. Played short, Shaw, saved by Bixby. Corner, San Diego. Bella Bixby again. Colaprico. Westfall. Morgan and Weaver. Morgan got it in past Bixby, who got caught flat-footed. The drought's over. Alex Morgan's on top, 2-0. And a big exhale for Alex Morgan to see the ball finally hit the back of the net in regular season play as we talk about that drought coming to an end. And Alex Morgan does it with her head. Again, it's just getting a nice final ball in. Alex Morgan able to post up a little bit there against Quika. Drives it off her head, catches Bixby on the slide. Bixby unable to recover it and whoo! Let out a breath of relief, Alex Morgan. You have scored again in the NWSL. And that's a moment that just you've been waiting for if you're Alex Morgan as a goal scorer to see the ball go in. at such a confidence booster moving forward, especially a timely goal. To get that. Oh, it's Klingenberg leaving it. Moultrie off the post. First, I believe, shooting at a touch. But then the post came through for San Diego. Corner. Olivia Moultrie was involved in the last highlight play and had a big play in this one, too. Look at this first time finish back post. Sheridan Devin looks like she gets a touch on it. You look there, yeah. you see the right glove helps to push that towards the post, inches away from making this a 2-1 game. That is going to do it. Big win for Casey Stoney and the San Diego Wave, who are now in first place and who have clinched a playoff spot in the NWSL, the first team to make that claim. And they do it in style with a shutout win away in a very tough environment. They do it behind another first, being the first team to score two goals on Portland in the first half, and they clinch a playoff berth doing so.